5G. They gotta keep on fighting on the dire side of the map and make OG react to them. And he has a reluctance to come up the river, come up these stairs. Oh, we got a smoke on smoke here. Athletic Kid, he's gonna find a huge Chronos there, but no, he gets lifted. He wasn't quick enough. But now they can jump around the Chronos. It does eventually come down. The Alchemist on the front of it. Maybe they can bring him down. Meanwhile, RP, Dragon 2 Heroes into that Chrono. An amazing play from DM to lock down two extra heroes. Oh, dearie me. It comes crashing down for OG versus Pro. That is how you Chrono. And DM just grabbing two extra heroes and just scooping them onto the side of the Chrono, plus them onto the side of it. That was beautiful. The hesitation from Eclectic Kid nearly cost them the fight as he went for the bigger target. He's a greedy boy, this Eclectic Kid. He really is. And now, well, Supernova is just going to be jumped onto the side of his face. He drops down the ultimate, but can't fight into this because of the cold snap, so he can't bring down the Supernova. That is a wasted global silence. And no tail might be going down here as well. Pops his ultimate as well. OG just throwing everything at this, this worthless fight. And they're going to end up losing both the heroes all the same. Oh, Thompson. He's looking for the cheeky play on to save here. Avatos combo. It's not quite enough to finish the job, but with a tree throw, it will be. GPK looking for a bit of revenge. Not sure we'll be able to find it, though. With Ilias here, they do have a decent amount of damage. Thompson just trying to keep close to the impetuses. And now, oh, Seb tries to come in with the stun, but gets blasted back by the deafening blast. And unfortunately, cannot help out his teammate. Failed to really shut down this void. He's still doing very well in net worth. Got himself the items he needs to be a factor. Another small. It's all about how they control him. The fight as Thompson jumps in once again, immediately going in for the face of this void. Face of this void is absolutely fine though. They'll drop the supernova down as well. I played the kid baiting down the chrono. Realistically, he didn't even need to use it because Thompson's out of mana. All he can do is try and run himself away. Now they see him and now they can take it down. Me, one of the back lines. No tail gets killed off by Ilias, but Thompson's the one who's going to get finished off by a the kid. Meanwhile, they'll chase down Saxa. Save on the run. Seb's going to come in with the stun though, and actually the sun going to miss because he's going back in. Saxa doesn't have a care in the world, but he is going to get finished off by Save. Uh, just due to the flames, it seems. Meanwhile, Seb trying to play around here. They know where he is. They've got the dust. Bow strike up the high ground. Deflector Kid will follow them. This is going to be another kill going their way. And that's going to be four down on the side of OG. Man, so that is pro. Is there any stopping them at this point? I'm not too sure. Uh, I, I totally I, love I, having like 2k net worth when your Naga had 20. I think I think 100% of the players in a game. Oh, oh son. I spoke. Oh my god. Well, they bring him low. Nice defensive try and save, but it's too late. The machine gun bash has come out. They bring him down. Turn around, try and eradicate Boxley. We'll get him in the end, but Mike, he melts through Roger on the back line. The buyback comes out. They found more. Lead soon gets melt through as well. General is high on the run. He's running out of resources to escape with no actual steps left. It's just a matter of time before the void spirit becomes a spirit in the afterlife. I mean, this is kind of the, the type of initiation that, that you would want to see from Liquid. They just go in, they, they catch the SF without the PKB intention. I, I think he, he kind of meant to go for this because just it, it feels a little bit awkward having like the slice that as your soul core. Um, just, you know, it's hard to dish out that much physical damage against when you're playing against a hero like Slardar and Lone Rift. There's a fight going on. Roll in on the V-Tune. Stun call off is good. They got glimpsed one away, but the damage might already be done. He's gone. V-Tune's down. BKB charged up. Iceberg activates his own, but the bashes are going to come through. Boxy is staying on top of him. And with the corrosive haze, there's no way he can fight back. He's going to be brought down. Disrupt is going to die as well. Roger is going to be chased onto also on the back line. And it looks like four are going to be dead. General is the only one left alive. And once again, Na'Vi unable to take a fight. Yeah, I mean, that should pretty much just be... That should be stuns, or the heroes are just are not close enough. But they still have the prime rule to play with. They're actually going again. They're going to move in on Amike, stance them up, pounce fall off as well. Stun control looks decent. We'll get him low. One more hit needed. They'll get it. The Orchid burns him out. Roll. Punishment incoming though. No man left on Storm Spirit. A bit of trouble. They get cut in. Dissimulate to do a dish. Out a lot of damage. And Iceberg. We'll just go for TV away. The Remnant gets blocked by V2. And the prime rule comes out. Timber does arrive, he is going to be able to punish Iceberg in time, but now they've chased forward in the quick for bringing him down. V2, he has now used the Shadow Dance, but he can hit into box, he forced him away under the tier 2 tower. He'll slow down the pursuit, but will he slow down, always want to fly, has stolen the spell away from him. And with this, and with no mana, player, it doesn't feel good against the Storm and Slark, sure, but you need pickoffs. If you find them as a group, you're in trouble. You can already see that they're spotted out here, the pings come out. Quick for is still going in though, he needs to be careful. They've got Blink, moving in, Lift's gonna be there, follow up, can't come down insane, need to control him. And there's a jump in the abyss, the Voice were brought down, burnt down, and killed off. Boxy just being ignored as they chase deeper, they'll find insane here as well. Tiger trying to escape, but nope, Iceberg Smash Community needs he can't block the rollout. They do find the kill to Boxy, however, and just outside of Liquid's base, it looks like it's season time. There's now a site on Ooh. Iceberg. Yeah, and he's had that in charge with the last fight as well. It just dishes out so much damage. Moving in, Stun's gonna come out. BKB was used. 
He used the Hex now, rolling. Tiger, he's trying to break up the fight and keep them away from re-engage. V2's going to get crossed, though. They do bring down the void. He's dead again. Alongside Tiger, Insane will be melt for as well as the GG comes out. They finally submit. It is the feat. It is a 1-1 one -one storyline. We're going to need to go to game three. Yeah, I mean, if they had those three roaches right in that fight, you know, a couple of like, stomps, a couple of slaps, some bashes here and there. Can you say that, Pycat? Roaches are. Corner's down for 15 seconds still. If Liquid could, I'm very fast about this. But they might get a new breath of life. The problem is they're not quick enough. This could backfire quickly. But they know this is their only option at this stage. They're falling too far behind. They'll move out. Horn's going to come in. Straight away on top of Void to try to burst through quick enough. They can try and protect him though. They get him out of the pit. Nice save by Tiger. But that means he's next to the other member. Chance will protect him though. Tiger doing all the work he can, but they've already lost the Pangolier. At least they keep Void for alive to go back into the pit. It's brought low. Who's going to get it? He gets picked up by Mikke. I'm trying to burst through them quickly. Always want to fly. Trying to just juke away from this fight quickly. Able to get out. Hand of God to keep him healthy. And now instead, Liquid's members fall low. Void for burst through. They bring them all down. Mikke has lost the Aegis and with it, his team. As they're all dead, he's surrounded on all sides. Bob's fight back will do nothing to save the life of Latrak as Na'Vi once again outplay Liquid. Yeah, just look at the amount of damage that Spectre is dealing in that fight. It's just, it's way too much. 10,000 damage dealt by Spectre alone. Infested inside oh, the Egyptian. Oh, 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 the, the bait. Wait a minute, though. They find him on the backside of this. Tombstone down. Running into Ramsey. Spot is still as the life show inside. They're going to pop more and kiss us. Try and chase the jump to the low ground, but Ramsey's is about to die. He ends and up they falling still have now. for the chase. Gotta be careful. Yeah, now coming, they got Sumail yet again throwing Milan. The Ravage comes far too late. A Meteor Hammer is gonna land, but I don't think this is gonna be enough. They've already lost two of their cores. Zayat's about to die. Oh, One more hit wasn't able to get out of there, but they'll take down Solo as well. So the final tally is gonna be a three to two. And things looking pretty freaking good for the golem. Talents, right? Because now she's level 20. She almost has MKB and she's a little shredder. The blink meteor <laughs> hammer. <laughs> they did mean? it. Okay. Well, they kill Skinner. That's a huge kill. Um, he just ends up going down. And now the roll in trying to separate. Gets the silence on all three of them. Or are you trying to back away? Gobble oh, and the tosses them really, really close. Scatter Blast is almost enough damage. The Cookie afterwards, 3-3, doing all he can. But they will, in the end, take them all down. Tidehunter eventually Ooh. falls, but the big swing. Good forward. <laughs> it's getting the point where Jumping it's not quite enough damage, though. Oh, good Ravage, but it's not quite enough. And then the heal comes out, saving again. Vornia, BKB comes out. Now the turnaround. Look at the little Shredder damage. Oh my god, completely demolished them. Life Stealer with the save. What a play on Skitter and tossing in the Earth oh, Spear nice. for one more hit. Pretty as can be for Mud Golems. Yeah, really well played game here. It's kind of tough, as you saw, they hit the win. And Dyer have a sentry oh, in Oh, he's the going area. to the kill. Four staff away, fought a fine. Three, three in trouble though. Has Blink back up in a second. And Blink's not where he wants to be. Oh, can he get out of there in time? Meanwhile, Sumail takes down Snapfire. They find poor old Beastmaster in the trees. And the jumping from Milan tries to blow up one. Not going to happen. He's lost three heroes. That the Morphling did uh, crazy. He's going to like pull people out of like, I don't even know, like roars and stuff. Either way, they're double team Sonic. Double team Sonic's pretty nice. Oh my god, the jump in. Good rage coming out from the life stealer, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. They catch, they hex, they shackle. Everybody is dying, and right now, 404, showing why this team was hyped up. Rip jump through. Disarm, trying to take him down. Fata switching back over to the Decay again. He has so much strength right now, trying to turn on Skitter. But Skitter finding a bash? Does he have any extra damage? They don't have anything really left in the tank. Infest out afterwards. Skitter versus the world. Can he make it happen? Gobble up afterwards. Chases down. Finds himself. This Shadow Shaman. Oh, they caught him. So low. They did burn through one round of that Aegis at the very least. And now, wave form. Chases. Gets the kill. Fada. Five seconds away. Needs to force step up to the high ground, but they get the finish. And the disarm is there, but it will not matter. They're very, very tanky, very hard to kill the life stealer, but everybody else is just fresh meat for Sumail, who finds them all, kills them all. GG called. We're going to game number three. Yeah, I don't know, man. This this is looking really tough right now. And they're just going to send them on in. Dude, they yeah. really don't care. 
They're, they're just the running bottom. Oh my god! <laughs> they just beat the crap out of them. They're, they're wrapping smoke. Milan is rolling as fast as he can. They might oh, find Ramses no. or no one here. They gotta be With so the careful. veil damage, no one is gone for sure. Goodbye. Give him a couple quick spikes. Oh my god! They just walk the past them. Down. They do not appear to care about anything at all. Blade mail be damned. Ramses, you are done. Triple go for Skinner. Well, now the chase down coming. The king is taken down by the rogue knight. Maybe. Or turn to fight. He has stick charges. That might be a problem. He GA'd. This guy's crazy. Is he really trying to? Okay. They're bringing in 3 3 now. Oh, on afterwards. They really want this kill on Fada. They will bring him down. But now, what's left? Can they chase this one? Moving into position. There's going to be the glimpse black. Three, three. They will get it. They get one. Fada with the baits. Follow up. Secondary kill. They get all four. Oh, Fada. Amazing baits. I have what? to say. <laughs>